for me, I was about your age, um, and I dreamed of playing for the U.S. national team and represent my country in the World Cup on the biggest stage that soccer has to offer. Um, and I've been very, very fortunate with a lot of hard work, discipline, dedication, desire to get to where I am today. And it's not easy. It's very, very, very hard. Um, I mean, G had me doing W's. He had me doing a lot of extra work. Um, in the off season, I was doing stuff every morning at 8 a.m., working out with our strength and conditioning coach, doing extra sessions with him, pushing myself to the next level. Um, most importantly, you got to dream. If you have a goal in, in life, whether it's being a lawyer, being the president of the United States, whatever, you have to dream and you have little goals to accomplish the big goal. So set your goals, but have a big goal in the back of your mind. Say, this is what I want to do. This is what I, I want to become. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And I had people tell me that I was never going to make it, that I was, you know, playing soccer. Soccer is not going to bring you anywhere. And, you know, that just fueled the fire. Use that as energy to, in a positive way, to do whatever you can to reach your goal. Most importantly, you got to have fun. If, you don't, if you're not having fun, you're not going to enjoy yourself, and you're not going to get the best out of your ability, and you're not going to push yourself. For me, the World Cup was a dream come true. Uh, I mean, I, I got asked this question yesterday, and they said, you know, it was your biggest experience or the most memorable moment in the World Cup. And for me, it was put on the U.S. jersey and walking out of the tunnel for the first time, and you hear the World Cup song come out. And you're walking out, and you're playing against a very good team from Ghana, and you're looking around the stadium, and you, all of a sudden you get the chills. Within about three or four seconds, you got goosebumps, and then you have to snap back into reality because you're like, I'm about to play one of the biggest games of my life in, in, in my probably, possibly my career. So you had that three or four seconds to kind of let it sink in. You're like, this is what I've dreamed of. This is, this is, this is the moment. And then you kind of have to go, okay, it's ready to go. Uh, it's go time. So I would say one of that, that would probably be the most uh, memorable moment that I've experienced so far. Um, but you know, hopefully... All you guys will make it to this level and, and push yourself, whether it's playing for the women's national team, going to the World Cup, the Olympics, whether it's the guys' national team, playing in the World Cup or the Olympics. There's opportunities out there, and uh, you got to take it with, with both hands and, and grasp on and, and hold on hard.